originally he was he was conceived as a sounding board really for, for Morse, very much the Dr. Watson to Morse's Sherlock and in Colin Dexter's books he was a 60 year old Welshman who I couldn't relate to at all nearing retirement. I just pulled him as near to me as I could. Where there's a will, there's a way, Lizzie. I became an actor purely as a, a therapy. I, I realised very young that I was not very confident in real life, but on stage I felt absolutely great. Uh, I loved being on stage and performing to audiences. Years ago, before I came into acting, I was a professional folk singer, so I always sung. But uh, the first time, pretty much, that we were acting together, Lawrence and I started singing I think it was a John Denver song, Country Roads or something like that. And we often do it now if we're bored between takes. By the way, we'd actually make quite a good senior officer because he has a, a lot more diligence actually than Morse did. He doesn't go off and hit the pub and, and drink. He really works hard at what he does, but he's not good at buttering up the, the senior ranks, I suppose. He's got a lot on his plate, that's all. I think uh, Dr. Hobson first appeared in 1996 in a film called The Way Through the Woods, a, a Morse story, and, and came in and called him Inspector Mouse. So Claire's been around yeah, for, for a long, long time, involved with the thing, and she's very much uh, one of the central characters, and she's great because she only comes in for three or four days on each film. We really look no. forward to her in, but she's a very sparky uh, actress. A lot of Lewis is me, I'm ashamed to admit. I think his kind of diligence about work is me. I love working hard and I do work hard at my job. I think John Thor himself would have worked quite happily seven days a week, you know, he didn't want even Sundays off, he loved being on set. I think Lewis is a bit like that with work. I'm not.